What happens when you take a pulp hero like the Shadow, place him into the Disney DuckTales universe, and then put him in the Disney Afternoon cartoon lineup? You get a daring duck of mystery. Champion of right. Swoops down from the shadows. Darkwing owns the night. Somewhere some villain schemes, but his number's up. That's right, you get Darkwing Duck. So let's get dangerous. Hey guys, Shannon here with Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single History and Origins video. Originally inspired by the DuckTales episodes Double O Duck and The Masked Mallard, Darkwing came into existence due in part to the popularity of superheroes at the time. Originally, however, Launchpad McQuack from DuckTales was going to be the star of the show rather than the sidekick. The final product of the series was intended as a parody of the superhero and action genre. Though officially set in two separate universes according to series showrunners, Many easter eggs throughout both DuckTales and Darkwing Duck show they're held in the same shared universe. Darkwing follows the adventures of ordinary citizen Drake Mallard, who has taken up the identity of St. Canard's resident superhero. Drake is aided by his adopted daughter Goslin, who would occasionally take up the identity of the Crimson Quackette and later Quiverwing Quack. Darkwing and his alter ego, Drake Mallard, were voiced by cartoon voice acting regular Jim Cummings, who also voiced the evil version of Darkwing from an alternate universe known as Negaduck, and eventually Negatron. Goslin was voiced by Christine Cavanaugh, and Launchpad was voiced by Terry McGovern. Darkwing's rogues gallery consisted of the aforementioned Negaduck, Megavolt, Liquidator, Quackerjack, Steelbeak, Tuscarini, and Dr. Reginald Bushroot. Darkwing Duck originally ran from September 8, 1991 until December 5, 1992. On occasions, DuckTales final season regular Fenton Crackshell, better known as Gizmo Duck, would make appearances in the series, and this would lead to an eventually abandoned spin-off called Justice Ducks. This team did actually make an appearance in Darkwing Duck when the Fearsome Five, which consisted of Negaduck, Megavolt, Quackerjack, Bushroot, and Liquidator attacked St. Canard. This led to Darkwing, Gizmo Duck, Morgana Macabre, who became a reformed criminal sorceress, Stegmut, who was a duck that was transformed into a Stegosaurus, and Neptunia, who was a mutated humanoid fish out to protect her home against the actions of land dwellers. Though Gizmo Duck originally felt he should lead the team, he eventually handed over leadership to Darkwing. If the spinoff would have made it into production, only Gizmo Duck and Darkwing would have remained on the team, as the other three members would have been replaced by Rubber Chicken and two other characters. The series Darkwing Duck was the first American animated series to be officially broadcast in syndication to the former Soviet Union. In the DuckTales reboot, Darkwing Duck plays a main recurring role in the series. At first, Darkwing Duck appears as an old television show which Launchpad is a fan of. The show first appears in the episode Beware the Buddy System, which depicts Darkwing fighting Quackerjack, the Liquidator, and Megavolt. Launchpad states that the actor portraying Darkwing Duck is an old school actor who did all his own stunts, named Jim Starling, a spoof of his voice actor Jim Cummings. He reprises his role as a character, and Michael Bell also reprises Quackerjack. Darkwing's first major role is in The Duck Knight Returns, with Drake Mallard, who is voiced by Chris Diamantopoulos, replacing Jim Starling as Darkwing in a movie produced by Scrooge. After the movie was canceled, Launchpad convinces Drake to try and do the superhero gig for real. Drake later reappears in Moonvasion to help thwart the Moonlanders, and in the end of the episode, Fowl appears plotting to eliminate Scrooge and his family following for the trouble they essentially caused, with Steelbeak among their ranks. Mallard's adopted daughter Goslin and minor villain Taurus Bulba will appear in future episodes. Disney Comics published a four-issue Darkwing Duck comic book miniseries in late 1991, around the time of the show's syndication premiere. This miniseries was an adaptation of a draft of the script for Darkly Dawns the Duck. Like the Tailspin comic before it, it was meant to spin off a regular comic series, but the Disney Comics implosion happening at the time prevented that plan. However, Darkwing Duck stories were regularly printed in Disney Adventures magazine between November 1991 and January 1996. Additionally, Darkwing Duck stories were also regularly featured in Marvel Comics' short-lived Disney Afternoon comic book. In March of 2010, Boom Studios began publishing new comics for Darkwing, and even connected it directly to DuckTales by often having Scrooge McDuck appear, as well as other DuckTales characters. Issue 18 was the final of Boom Studios' run, as they prematurely lost the license. Joe Books would later publish eight issues of the series in 2016, 
but cancel it due to poor sales. In 2018, IDW Publishing announced that Boom Studios' run would be reprinted in Disney's Afternoon Giant, which debuted in October of that same year. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to let you guys know how much fun I had making this video. Uh, reliving the Disney Af uh, Adventures magazine, I had completely forgotten all about that until uh, I started looking through the uh, pictures to produce this video and just seeing the cover of one of those issues really brought back a lot of memories. I remember standing in the checkout line with my mom grocery shopping. They would have it up on one of the racks and I would usually get it once a month. It just brings back so many memories looking through the magazine, uh, reliving the Disney afternoon, uh, DuckTales, uh, Darkwing Duck, uh, Tailspin, Goof Trip, all those. I loved watching those as a kid. Uh, I just can't express how much fun and how much how many great memories came flooding back as I was making this video. So for those of you who requested this, I want to thank you guys for requesting it. Otherwise, I would have probably put it off a while longer. With that being said, I'm going to continue trying to put out history and origin videos on a daily basis, at least during the week and then on the weekends taking the day, days off until January 15th. Because in, at January 15th, I will be going back to school, so I won't really have the time to dedicate every single day to making videos. Uh, but once I do start back to school, I will try and get out, uh, get you guys some videos uh, a couple times a week. And I'm going to do a lot more History and Origins videos. You guys seem to really like those. Hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.